Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hey guys, I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Look at these fun music cupcakes. <laughs> they have music notes on them because our story today has music in it. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. This story is all about how you can trust that God is with you. It starts with a king named King Nebuchadnezzar. Can you say that? neb a ka nezer Try it! neb a ka nezer Good job! And here he comes! King Nebuchadnezzar thought he was the very best king there ever was, and he wanted everyone to know it. One day, he had a giant idea. Now when I say giant, I mean giant. Look! King Nebuchadnezzar made a huge golden statue of himself. Then he told all the people in the kingdom to gather around, and he said that every time the music played, <clears throat> every time the music played, I guess we need a little music. Can you guys help me out? Get out your pretend trumpets like this, and when I say the word music, you play. Ready? Music! <laughs> Perfect! Okay, trumpets down. So let's start that again. The king said that every time the music played, he wanted everyone to bow down to the statue. Great playing, everyone. Trumpets down. But here was the bad part. The king said, if you don't bow down, he would throw you into the fire. Whoa! And the king was serious. So each day, the music played, and everyone in the crowd bowed down. Wait, wait, stop the music. Not everyone is bowing. How many people do you see standing? Can you count them? One. Two, three. Yes, there were three men that didn't bow. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were friends with God and knew that they should not bow down to anyone but the one true God. This made the king very mad. So he ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be thrown into the fire. Whoa! <laughs> If I were them, I would be so afraid. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God was with them. So when they went into the fire, everyone was very worried about them. But then something amazing happened. Look! <laughs> How many people do you see in the fire now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four! Four people! Someone else was in the fire. God had sent an angel to be in the fire with them. He protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That is amazing. And look at King Nebuchadnezzar. He's so surprised. And he said, guys, come out, come out of the fire. So the three men came out and they weren't hurt at all. Wow. <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had trusted God and that God had saved them. What a great story. God is amazing. God was always with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even in the fire. And you can trust that God will always be with you too. I can trust God and you can trust God. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? 
I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye.